Today, I'll be exploring some creative and useful automation ideas using NFC tags. These things are very small, cheap, and easy to hide, so they can be placed pretty much anywhere. And since they're so easy to trigger using an iPhone or really any smartphone, they can be very easily incorporated and very useful in basically any spot in your house. Let me show you. One of my favorite new automations that I just set up recently involves the cases you may already have lying around from your old games or movies. Since games and movies are pretty much all digital now, these cases and these discs really don't serve much purpose anymore. But to add some functionality, you can add an NFC tag here inside the case. So when you are ready to game, simply scan the case of the game that you wanna play. The NFC tag won't even be visible, but you can set an automation to automatically turn on your monitor, turn on your console of preference, and have it actually automatically open the game that you just scanned. Now I know this works at the very least on Xbox because they do have Google Home integration on their consoles to allow for automations like this. I'm not sure if it works on PS5 because I don't have one. So if you have old DVD cases lying around, throw an NFC tag in there, scan the DVD that you want to watch, and you can have it set to open up a streaming platform that'll play that movie. The same thing can be said for music too. I've seen a lot of people use vinyl records for this automation where they display them and you can use your phone to scan whichever record you want to listen to to have it play a specific song or the whole album on that record. And honestly, I don't even have any DVDs or records that I can showcase this with, but I did set up the automation on my Fallout 4 case so I can have it automatically play the intro song to Fallout 4 when I scan it. I love this song, so I thought that was a good way to do it. It. This could be a great way to put some old, otherwise obsolete game cases, DVDs, or vinyl records on display with smart functionality added to them. And if you're like me and you work from home, I like my office to be normal during business hours. But if I come back here in the evenings to do some gaming or just to relax for a bit, it's nice to be able to differentiate the office with a new vibe. So when it's after hours and you're ready to set that gaming vibe, you can actually put an NFC tag right under your light switch cover where it will be fully hidden but still very easy to scan. Really only you will know that it's there so it's not intrusive at all. And you can set a simple automation to turn off your overhead lights, turn on the ambient LED lights, dim your phone screen, and turn on the ceiling fan so you can stay cool during those hot gaming sessions. And just for fun, did you know that you can have your iPhone make custom sounds whenever you run an automation through the Shortcuts app? This is the same app that you have to use to scan the NFC tags to begin with, so I did incorporate a custom sound. So whenever I'm ready to set my office to gaming mode, it plays a gaming sound that goes along with it. Now let's take a look at the living room. There are tons of areas where you can incorporate NFC tags in here. Firstly, we'll start up here. I hate to admit it, but I have a tendency to procrastinate things longer than I should, and changing out my air filters is one of those things. I already have a reminder set on my phone to remind me every month when it's time to change these, but even when that goes off, a lot of times I still push it off longer than I should. And I use the Shortcuts app on my iPhone to make an automation that checks whether or not I've completed this task yet in my reminders. And if it hasn't, then it actually sends me a push notification to remind me in increasing frequencies depending on how long I take. So obviously this gives me some motivation to get this done quicker. So once I do change out the air filters, I scan this NFC tag that's pretty much hidden in plain sight. And what that does is it checks off the reminder for this month, and then it actually opens up the Shortcuts app to the specific automation that runs the notifications so I can turn them off manually. And I'll just turn this automation back on so that the whole thing can start over again next month. And this automation can be used for really anything you might need some motivation to keep up with. It doesn't have to be for air filters. You can use it for when you clean and mop your floors, uh, do car maintenance, or even doing things like feeding your pets to make sure you stay on top of it. And this next one will improve not only your life, but also any of your house guests' lives too. Right here at the front door, a simple NFC tag can actually give your guests your Wi-Fi credentials automatically as soon as you scan it. If you're on Android, you can actually do this very easily in the Wi-Fi settings, where you can have your phone automatically write the NFC tag for you to include your Wi-Fi credentials. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, this is not a feature on iPhone. I'm not sure if it's a privacy or security thing, 
but Apple does not allow you to scan an NFC tag to connect to Wi-Fi automatically. However, there is a very easy workaround to this, which is to create a QR code, which does the exact same thing. If you open up your shortcuts app, you can open the gallery section, tap on the accessibility shortcuts, and there's actually a pre-built shortcut that you can use to create a QR code on your phone. All you have to do is type in your Wi-Fi name and password and it'll automatically generate this QR code, which you can use this on your phone, obviously. If you want to have your guests just scan the QR code when you bring it up on your phone, that would work just fine. But what I did to make this more inclusive is I actually printed out the QR code right here on the NFC tag that I'm using for the Android devices. So that way, regardless of what type of phone you have, you can either scan it with your NFC or scan it with your camera to automatically connect to our Wi-Fi. And I just put this right here on the entryway. Since this is where people always ask me for the Wi-Fi anyway. And actually a quick note on that, iOS does have an even easier way for you to automatically connect your house guests to your Wi-Fi which is actually just built into the software. Just have your guests open up their Wi-Fi settings and tap on your network. What you can do then is open up your iPhone and as long as you're connected on the same Wi-Fi network, a prompt will show up on the bottom of your iPhone that allows you to wirelessly give them the credentials without having to type or scan anything. Smart vacuums are an essential part of just about any smart home, and I think it's safe to assume that those of us that have a smart vacuum just have them set to automatically clean the house at certain times a day, usually overnight. But what about those times where you just need to clean up on aisle three and you have a mess that can't wait? What I've done is I've scattered NFC tags all throughout my house, one in each room, so that if I ever do need to clean up a specific spot, I can scan the NFC tag to have it trigger the vacuum to come to that room automatically. Are you tired of having to clean up your petty little accidents every time you use the kitchen? Worry no more. Introducing the NFC tag. Just scan it to have your robot vacuum automatically clean up your mistakes. Or if you're looking for something a little more simple but just as important, have an NFC tag set to open up your favorite YouTube page so that you can double check that you're subscribed. Now let's take a look at some of my favorite home gym automations. As you can tell, I spent a lot of my time in here maintaining this physique. <laughs> so when I first enter the gym, I immediately scan the NFC tag that I have right by the door, which triggers an automation to help me stay focused during my workout. This automation will set my phone to the fitness focus, so that way I won't have any distracting notifications or messages popping up as I work out. It also plays my workout playlist, so I have some tunes to listen to while I'm doing it. And it opens up the fitness app so that I can track my workouts as I do them, or even use the Fitness Plus subscription to follow some workout videos if I'd like to. And you do have a lot of extra things that you could add to an automation like this to really fine tune it to your specific room or your specific scenario. Some of the things we already talked about, like turning on the lights or turning on a fan, if you have a TV in your gym, which I don't, you can also have it turn on the TV and open up your favorite streaming service so you know that you have something to watch while you're working out. And the nice thing about these NFC tags is you can trigger a whole list of different things to happen under one scan. So instead of having to do everything manually, you scan your phone to the NFC tag one time to basically turn on the whole gym. And at the same time, you could also split up these automations between different tags. So if you only want a certain thing to happen when you walk in, but then have the full gym turn on at a different spot where you scan a different tag, you can do it that way too. Another thing you can try, which I've done here in my gym, is I've added NFC tags to each one of the different stations that I work out at, which will open up either a correlating video or instructions to make sure that I'm doing the correct workout and following it properly. Or if you're already accustomed to your workout to the point where you don't really need instructions or a video to watch, you could still put a tag at each station to start a timer, or what I prefer to do is I actually have it log the reps that I do for each workout. So if you take, for example, the workouts that I do with the dumbbells, if I do one set of 20 arm curls and I wanna make sure I don't forget that I've already done them, I can scan the tag to have it log it for me. 
and it's actually very easy to set this up on iPhone. All that I did was I created a new note in my notes app called Reps Tracker. I then opened up the Shortcuts app, created a new personal automation, which will add text to that note every time that I scan this NFC tag. And you can have this set to where it just adds in the time and the date that you did it. Or what I've done is I just added custom text. So every time I scan it, it'll put in the note arm rep one. That way, if you're mid-workout and you forget how many sets you've done at each station, you can just open up your notes app and see it all tracked properly. Now staying hydrated is a very important part of working out and really just for life in general. So this automation idea can be used both in and outside of the gym. You can easily add an NFC tag to your water dispenser or to your water bottle so that you have a much easier way of keeping track of how much water you're drinking in a day. And this one is also a very simple automation. Every time that you finish the water bottle or every time you're refilling it, scan the NFC tag. You can have that set to trigger your health app to track how many ounces are in the bottle and add that to your daily intake of water. And once your workout is complete, you can have another NFC tag right next to the one that you started with at the entryway to the gym that basically reverts everything you did earlier. I have mine to pause my music, turn the lights and fan off, and it actually goes into my reminders app and marks my workout reminder as complete so that that's off my to-do list. If you learned something new from this video, please make sure to NFC scan the like button. It helps me out a lot. And I have a lot more smart home and automation idea videos coming up soon, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm sure you'll love this one too, where I go over even more NFC tag automation ideas. Thanks for watching.